morning. So, last few hours have hours. Okay, so it started last night. My concept of time sucks, okay? Excuse me. Hold on. Okay, before I'm driving, let's get that out of the way. So, I'm not quite sure except for, um, there has been some issues. I don't know how much I really talked on when I went out and seen Jerry. Um, but, uh, Shauna has uh, had some family issues. And so... Um, we all have, I don't think there's a one person who can say their childhood was perfect. Their parents were perfect. They did everything right. Um, and so her parents were not, uh, exempt from this. I really don't think I have a mask in this vehicle. I believe they're in my van. Um, I just have an old style one. Anyway, um, so it was rocky. She was used like children shouldn't be. And I have come very far and believe that just because you didn't have the best upbringing, it does not give you an excuse to be a bad adult. We can all learn. It's like having parents who are illiterate. I actually know someone who had a parent who was illiterate. Um, and it was because he checked out on his education. He didn't go to school past like the third grade. I don't understand because he is four years younger than me how that was allowed in this times, those times. Um, I say it like we're 800, um, and the dinosaurs were roaming, um, but I don't know how a child only gets a third grade education and then can just not go to school, not physically go to school, because trust me, I wanted to do that at 16 and they threatened me with the cops, don't know if it's just a scare tactic, but it worked. So... Uh, this person's child can read. She can write. She can do all of that. So, don't believe that is... It's kind of like, you know, my children speak English. Our household was not mainly uh, Spanish or French or Russian because then my kids would know that. And I don't agree with people saying, well, everyone just needs to know English. Well, we live in a very melding, mixing pot, melding pot of people. Not everyone. I live in a town where there's a lot of Russian people. So when they're walking through the store, I have no idea what they're saying because I wasn't, why can I not think of words? Because multilingual Joel is just completely made up and that is not what I meant to say. Anyways, we didn't have multiple languages in my home. Um, I know a few words from a couple languages, nothing to get me by. 
my Spanish will just get me in trouble because of course um, past how are you doing uh, my famous sentence that drove my mom nuts how are you doing here um, asking or asking for a nap milk water yeah, I'm pretty much screwed because <laughs> of a storm. I, think I believe blame Jerry for that one. I like that might have where where some of that came from. <sighs> oh, thank you. Are you gonna get out of my way finally? Anyway, so with that being said, I do believe. Uh, there is no excuse for you not fixing the problems of your childhood and then in parking them, parting them, not in parking, but I mean, you try to give them to your child and anyway, don't screw up your children and don't screw up children you're around and don't use what happened to you as a deciding factor on who you're going to be today, tomorrow, and next week. Because it just doesn't work that way. Okay, it shouldn't work that way. So, with that being said, just because you're taught to lie does not mean you lie as an adult. Um, understand when you're like no that bruise didn't come from him because you're scared that you'll get hit again I understand those lies but to tell someone oh yeah uh, when I was younger I was a federal agent no it doesn't work that way I mean right on you but there are some key factors that make that clear that you couldn't have been. You might not want to go with that line. I am being naughty. for a second. Um, in driving in my head, so there was a fight last night between Jerry and Shauna. Jerry came over and said, hey, can I stay here? Because I'm staying here. And I have not said it yet. Xander... doesn't want to stay with us. Um, it was let known, and I think I've mentioned it, that Jerry has Alzheimer's. Well, it came out yesterday that he probably does not. I don't know if that was a lie or if they just misdiagnosed it. Sometimes you can get a TBI and it can show up as other things. It, it is misdiagnosed quite often. So, I wish I had a pen. I have a pen. Um, so, um, what I think part of it is, is Shauna was hanging out with her mom yesterday and she's worse than Shauna expected. Shauna hasn't seen her in a while. And, and no matter how shitty your parents are, unless you're, well, me, um, or you just don't care, it is hard to see your parent like that. Um, and 
And so they're fighting and somehow I am headed to them because he went over to talk to her last night. I ended up fixing it because I talked to him, I talked to her, and somehow I got her to a point where she was willing to talk. And my biggest thing is sometimes you can't see past your own nose. I am one of those people sometimes. my faults. I admit my faults. I admit there are struggles. It does not define who I am. It's just maybe a character flaw of mine. But admitting that I am wrong and I'm not always right is a good thing. And it makes me human. What also makes me human is I screw up. There's no getting around it. term you're a scared child because I think that was part of it and frustration um, it is very clear and, and I think she has actually said she does have it uh, anxiety anxiety can come out in anger it, you know someone with anger or someone with anxiety can actually have bouts of anger um, sadness. It can be mixed diagnosed for a lot of things. Um, bipolar being one of them. Because you can be crying one minute from anxiety, having a panic attack, and then be just raging mad. Um, and that's where you can't diagnose someone in one visit. That's my issue. especially kids. Kids are kids. Kids are growing. They're adapting their hormones. Um, so you can't say, hey, this teenager is bipolar. Every teenager is bipolar. They have hormones surging through them. So, saying a kid is bipolar is, you're just saying they're a teenager. No, that is gross. That is not what I wanted. Okay, anyway. So, I meant it as in maybe with the stress of everything else and I'm not going to say Jerry's perfect and doesn't put pressure on people and bitch about things. Guess what? Buddy, I got it from you. Um, I do. I get frustrated quickly. I say what I have to say. It is never pretty. It is never nice. But I need to get it out there. Um, Luckily, I can write and not have to look. Just, oh, that's the straight, straightest I've ever done it, probably. Um, so, I think it all compounded the fight. He was done, she was done filing for divorce. Say lovey don't know how I fixed it. Kind of curious. But at that point I said Xander's not going but Shauna if you want to see him you let me know. I'm sure he has stuff there. Um, let me know how much it's going to be to ship it back. Get it shipped back. 
Um, I am still his parent, and as of right now, we still are not 100% on when these schools are going to open. Um, he does want to physically go to school. And so I think that would be best. Um, she just keeps throwing out he's autistic. I have believed he has been on the spectrum for many years. Um, I don't know if any of my viewers, the 46 of you, <laughs> Um, have anyone in their family who is um, but <laughs> the counseling we have for Oregon is Lifeways well this end of Oregon I'm sure around Portland it is better so, um, but they told me there's no way Xander is on the spectrum in any manner, uh, because he had two different socks on. Didn't know that was the deciding factor because it's one and done. Um, I do believe the ADHD was a misdiagnosis. Um, I, I just know it's attention, hyperactivity, whatever. I don't remember. <laughs> no one said I was the smart one. Um, I just play one sometimes. So, I don't know where I can get in. I've never actually been to this I've never been to this hotel. Anyway, um, so, oh, there's that Ellie. And then there's my car. My van. So, um, I do agree with the ODD. Um, but past that, I don't necessarily. Hey, I can hit this vehicle. I probably shouldn't though, right? Because it's mine. <laughs> Still makes my rate go up. Like if my husband hits me with his car and it's my car, does the rates go up? <laughs> anyway, um, I don't, it's not an excuse. He just has to learn how to manage life. I gotta figure out where my husband is. Um, should move that. Okay. So, have I believed he's on the spectrum? Yes. Um, he shows a, a couple. mannerisms nothing I do feel ill equipped to manage those and I don't want to damage him more than Anthony and I have because we weren't the best parents in the beginning um we can only make up for it now. He wants to go back. And we considered it until this fight. And now they've made up. And now we're going to have a sit down. Because some stuff needs to be said. Because there is some stuff. Um, that need to be said.
yeah, I can't smell. Um, all of a sudden, it's really bad. So, um, then we need to decide, um, Pillsbury? Pillsbury. Okay. Um, so, there's a better counselor over there. And... Yeah, we'll just mark I'm, I'm a stay-at-home mom. So uh, I, I dabble in all of those. So we need to figure out how, what, where, when, why... The whole nine. Um, I'm not switching his doctor. He's had this doctor for many years. Um, I don't mind the dentist, but uh, because yeah, with everything going on. We're having a hard time with ours. Uh, the last guy was a piece of work. Um, so, he's gone. But they haven't really found anybody to replace him. So, um, obviously that's an issue. But he needs dental care. He needs it way more than he gets it. And I guess you could say that part. Anyway, so I have a hey, Amy. Could have swore you already told me that one was shipping. Um, so I don't know. There's still some stuff, and maybe I'm ridiculous, but our rules will still apply because he's not staying there forever. Um, he's not even staying there six months. He will, uh, maybe until March. But I want, I do want my kids to work on their relationship with their grandfather. So. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'll talk to you guys later.